goal. And it hasn't worked out well for Aberdeen at all. McGeady and Robbie Keane. Oh, it's steered in finally. The Avanci camera. Well, Lanfield could only parry it right into the path of the grateful camera. And he has his first SPL goal. Celtic take the lead inside three minutes. Well, a nightmare start for Mark McGee and an absolutely terrific one for, for Celtic in the quest to close down Rangers in this SPL title. A very bad clearance from Maluko. Great finish here from camera, but it was simple. But once he gets in this position, we've spoken about it, a little bit of trick, then lifts your head. Keane's in the position, that little hole. Well, Drew, with the free kick for Aberdeen. Comes to Mark Kerr. Shooting chances on, and how about that from Michael Payton? Two goals in as many matches. It was a corker. That's the response Mark McGee wanted to see. And that's a strike that there's not many goalkeeper will get, if any. It's all about just dropping off the second ball here. The first one's headed out by Fortuny, it's just held back in. A little bit of pressure on the ball. Peyton, who started inside the box, just drifted out towards that 18-yard line, anticipating there was going to be a knockdown. Once it is, it's all about the technique. Just gets his body in the right position where he opens it up, he's able to get his left shoulder over it and down, keeps it down, a little bit of cut on it, and after Boric, no chance. To a cul-de-sac, Robert Patterson is reaching out, trying to dispossess Brown. He won't be stopped here, Scott Brown. It's an excellent ball as well. Robbie Keane, and for today! Aberdeen caught. Celtic in full flow. A lead restored, and Keane is quite happy to be the architect rather than the finisher. Well, it's a brilliant goal, because when you think Aberdeen take a quick free kick, it's doubled up. Luko loses it, Brown does really well, he could actually play the diagonal early. Now, if this is roles reversed, this ball ain't getting played in, I don't think. But because it's Robbie Keane, because of his intelligence and his awareness, he sees the situation, he knows what it takes. A little ball glided past across the face for Fortuny, who's taken up that position at the back post. He made the run, he said to Keane, go on, stick it in there, son. It's Patterson on the left. Incredible game. Well, the Celtic defence at the moment. I mean, they couldn't keep chickens out of close, could they, for any length of time? What a great ball in from Jim Patterson. And they're all sucked in under it. Bryfeld, the left back, he's come in. The centre halves have come in. So somebody's not picking up. And all fairness to Mackey, he's not been an out and out goal scorer here at Aberdeen. He's taken his stick and missed him. He shows great composure, picks his spot. And once again, the Renega lead. Tidy, yes, but he just, he just sort of sits in there and they've got to get people forward. And Rasmussen's more of, certainly what we've seen him, more of a box play. Oh, it's Robbie Keane, is it? Well, it might have been scruffy, but it was crucial. Robbie Keane celebrates his very first goal of the SPL. And Celtic had the lead at Petodre for a third time. Well, maybe 33 to 1 for a hat trick wasn't such a bad shout. After all, and you're right, Derek, the way you described that, scruffy, really sloppy from Aberdeen. I think watching the substitutions coming on and the disruption that that caused, and once he pulls off the back, he's the diamond here, and that's exactly what he does. He really shouldn't be favourite because there's a huge difference in height, but once that ball's hooked in, and that's where it was, and it's a terrific header. Not a bad somersault either. Right hand side is my place to be making the saves, and he did. McGeady! Oh, it's a wonderful goal by Adrian McGeady! Twice he was on target here at Petodre back in August. He has scored again today, and it might just put the seal on a Celtic victory. Well, it, it should do if they've got anything about them, but. 
again, I think, just Aberdeen switching off and the short corner kick here. And, and he's got to be blinded by this. He's seen it late, Langfield. We'll get a good look here. Is it Rasmussen and just in front of him? Does he see it late? Well, he's got to see it late because, well, it's not right in the roof of the net. And it's pretty central. McLean who recently joined Aberdeen on loan to Plymouth. Just did enough. Boros getting a touch, but couldn't stop it. And Aberdeen are right back in it with a quarter of an hour remaining. Well, whilst Aberdeen have given Celtic a couple of soft goals in this second half, they don't come much softer than gifting a penalty kick. When you've just taken a two-goal lead, when you've taken Fortuny off. Payton with it for Aberdeen. As it bubbles around, Mackey! What a massive dent to Celtic's title prospects. Well, when you talk of Celtic these days, the one word that continually crops up is defending. Defending, defending. Unable to cope under pressure. Three, four Celtic players trying to clear the ball. Nobody around, and McLean, who I think has been superb, along with Markey, and I just mentioned him before, he's got his goal, and he plays a huge part because he hooks it back in. He's going for goal, and he skews it wide. And he's got his penalty, he should have had another penalty, and he's got a goal. Absolutely terrific performance from him. The Celtic supporters cannot believe what has unfolded in front of their eyes.